Hello there, Chieftain Brent. I'm looking for a quest. As a matter of fact, Siglor, I do have a quest for you. Are you interested? Yeah. So what will it be this time? Joining Warring Islands? I'm a fan of your enthusiasm, Siglor, but- Would you have me slay a mighty Daggermouth? Or do you need my expertise in conquering untamed lands? Nothing quite that fancy, I'm afraid, Siglor. I just need you to investigate a minor disturbance. Oh. Fragard and Resso run the sand pit a little north of here. They mentioned they heard some rustling by their hut last night and wanted an official to investigate. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. I'll get right on it. Thank goodness you've arrived. The chieftain told me that you saw some sort of disturbance outside your hut. Yes, my husband thinks I'm going a bit mad, but I know what I saw. Red eyes piercing with a terrifying stare. I was so frightened I fell to the floor. It was the middle of the night, so I couldn't make out what it was. But when I got back on my feet, it wasn't there anymore. I see. I'll have a look around and see what I can find. What is that? A youngling? For years we have waited, and at last our time to rise has come. Soon, we will bring terror to the Fremenic province. Go forth, brothers and sisters. Go forth and wreak havoc amongst their people. Once they are distracted, we will tear down the walls that hold our king. We will finally free the Dromongan. The time is ours. They will be unprepared. Their ban on magic shall be their downfall. They have no champion to defend them this time. No V. Bakuna. What's this? This doesn't look safe. Good job my backpack magically stops things from breaking. Ballad of the Basilisk. Must be a poem? Aha! A rock slide. Some sort of fang. It looks like a magic fang. It's dripping with venom. I'd better make sure I don't prick my finger. Alright, that should be everything for the investigation. The thing that made the noise outside your home is gone now, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, thank goodness. I'll have my husband take those items to the chieftain for you. Thank you so much for your help, Sigler. No problem. I best be getting back to the chieftain. Siglor, I'm glad you returned. This letter you found is very worrying. It requires our utmost attention. I don't understand. What does the letter mean? Who is the Dromungund? And since when could Basilisks read and write? While they may not show it, Basilisks are much smarter than they seem. Many years ago, a great Basilisk army enslaved our people and took our home. The Jormungand, sometimes known as the Serpent King, was the leader of this army along with his three generals, Typhor, Matera, and Bakuna. He brought a terror to these lands like any other. If it hadn't been for the bravery of a great hero, we might never have been freed. A hero? Yes, he was known as V. He stood up to the Serpent King and confronted him on his island of stone. It is said that the two of them fought for days, but in the end, V stood victorious. What happened next? Well, that depends who you ask. The Bards wrote a great song about V's victory. They called it the Ballad of the Basilisk, and it claims V killed the Jormungand. But wait a sec. Well, the bards are known to bend the truth a bit, especially if it makes the song sound better. In reality, V sealed the Serpent King in a magical prison on the island, where he remains to this day. A magical prison? I thought the Fremenic people didn't approve of magic. V was different. Stories tell of how he unlocked the potential of magic with a single touch of stone. In that moment, he became more than just a man. A god? It's not a distinction the Feminic particularly care for. To us, he has always been a hero to be respected, not a god to be worshipped. They say he felt the same. But he earned the right to use magic? Exactly. Now the Moon Clan, on the other hand, did not earn that right. Their use of magic is an insult to our people. So what can we do about the Drummungand? We will stay strong, Siglor, or else we'll will be doomed. Our army isn't strong enough to hold back the forces of the Serpent King. I can help. Siglor, you're strong, but you're no army. You're forgetting, Chieftain. We have the element of surprise. They don't know we're aware of their attack. We could have days to prepare before they make their move. We could- Chieftain Brent!
Agnar, what is it? Chieftain Brent, I'm here on behalf of the Fremnic Council. We heard some disturbing news about the Basilisk in town. Well, I won't deny there's been a little issue, but Siglor and I will soon have things back under control. Siglor, when will you see that this Outerlander is the cause of all our problems? Siglor is no Outlander. He passed our trials and is a Freeman Inc. just like you and I. You can disguise it all you want, but he is an Outerlander and always will be. Ever since we let him in, we've had nothing but trouble. Now we have Basilisks wandering into town. The council has had enough. What are you saying, Agnar? I have a declaration. Here signed by seven of our 12 council members. We declared this Outerlander is an exile. This is outrageous. Siglor is one of us. Do not use that name. The decision of the council is final. I see. Exile, you must leave our province. Our people will no longer see you as their brother. Leave at once. Do not attempt to interact with myself or my people. Well, that was awkward. Indeed. I'm sorry, Siglor. The reality is that many on the council did not take kindly to you becoming one of us. They've been looking for a good excuse to exile you ever since you arrived. But they're the ones who voted for me in the first place. Well, not quite. Seven of the twelve council members gave you their vote, but you never had the support of the other five. They're the ones who've been pushing for your exile. I see. And they've used this basilisk problem to convince some of the others. It would seem so. Try not to judge them too harshly though, they only had what was best for the province in mind. The basilisk situation has a lot of people scared. I see you're not familiar with the end of things. The end of things? Many years ago, before the time of V, it was foretold that this world would end in a great battle. They call this battle Ragnarok, or more commonly, the end of things. Well, that doesn't sound good. Where do the basilisks fit in? The prophecies say the battle will begin after the Serpent King is freed. Then we'd better make sure the Jormungan stays in that prison. Well, Siglor, that's why I asked you to meet me out here. If you are to help us put a stop to this threat, you'll need to regain the trust of the council. And I know just how you can do that. The chieftain went on to explain that I must reforge V's legendary shield that he used to destroy the basilisk last time. Making the shield requires four components. First, the base. This is a traditional Fremnic shield, like the ones the warriors use. Next, the lunar glass. This was apparently created by a great moon clan mystic and was used to reflect the Serpent King's gaze. Third, there's the polishing rock. This is needed to shine the lunar glass. Lastly, there's V's sigil. This sigil was crafted by the Moon Clan, using a unique metal known only to them. If I manage to collect all four of the components and reforge the shield anew, then I just might have a chance at clearing my name and proving my worth to the Fremenic Clan. Wait. 